Americans, Christians, Patriots, how you doing? Uh, leftist traders need not apply, but you're more than welcome. Yeah, I don't want you more than welcome to listen anyway. I look forward to your hateful comments also. Well, you gotta just wonder. Since the debate where, you know, Biden made gaff on top of gaff and couldn't remember anything, and you know, it has initially gotten worse, now you just have to wonder. Well, since Joe won't go, he says he's better stay in the race, which could be an act also. They may be telling him to stay in the race long enough, retire, so it gives us time on what to do. I mean, who knows? Or it may give time for one faction to take power over the others. Like I said, you got the, the Gavin Newsom faction, the Hillary Clinton faction, Big Mike, a.k.a. Michelle Obama faction. The Biden faction themselves, and of course Kamala Harris trying to fight them all off as the fake woman of color. But now it's getting to the point where it's just embarrassing now. I mean, he embarrassed himself the other day at NATO. Uh, yesterday, or a couple days ago, he introduced the uh, Ukrainian president, Zelensky, but he called him Vladimir Putin. Called Donald Trump the vice president, I think also his vice president. So you gotta wonder, okay, are they gonna go full blown veto with Joe Biden to force him to leave? Where the Bidens have no choice but to resign? Or are they just gonna get everyone to call for the 25th Amendment? Either one of these plans is viable. And again, we got the Republican convention starting Monday. Today's the 13th, and we still don't know who Trump's VP is, which I find quite amazing. I mean, <coughs> at the same time, dumb because you know how Donald Trump is. That means they grand entrance, a grand appearance with himself. So will they announce it on Monday? Who his VP is? I don't know. It's, will they announce it today, tomorrow? As we approach the three days, the three, four days of Milwaukee? But regardless, as fun as this convention will be, the Democrat convention in, in, in August is going to be even better. I mean, we're only, at, we're only at not even halfway to July 13th, and a lot has happened, and I, I expect a lot more will happen. And I'm telling you right now, don't be surprised if evidence that was hidden from the case of Hunter Biden starts appearing up in the media. Because they're going to tell Biden, all right, you don't want to go the easy way, you go the hard way. It will embarrass you. And if that doesn't do it, then they'll call for the 25th Amendment on the Democrat base will be there. I mean, as it is, George Clooney in Hollywood is already dumping on Joe. The View is already dumped on Joe. I mean, these people are so in lockstep. So when they, they try to call people like us a brainwashed cult worshiper, uh, no. We knew Biden... New text message from Tony Femer. We knew Biden was a mess four years ago. And he's been a mess the entire four years. It's just now they want to admit it. So, how's this going to pan out? What's your opinion like to know? Leave your comments down below. Like, subscribe to the channel. Keep the country in prayer. Jesus Christ is still king. God's in control. And we'll talk to you later.